Hello everyone and welcome back to Choose Your Own Galactic Adventure, a Choose Your Adventure style let's play of X3 Avalon Prelude. Now with the X Rebalance mod. At the end of last episode, we were working on the Player Headquarters quest at the end of it. And instead of continuing that game, I'm going to do as I mentioned I might do earlier and start a completely new game with this X Rebalance mod. It adds a great deal many ships, more sectors, more guns, and it generally has a lot more combat. To start, I've picked a few of the starts specific to this mod. Let's see, we have Argon and Anarchist. Difficulty considerable. Learning of your Terran ancestry, you decide that life, that the life of a cop is not as rewarding as it could be, and ditch the force, taking your ship with you. With the heat on your heels, will you reclaim your lost history? The bankrupt assassin, which someone chose last time. The cunning charlatan. Difficulty challenging. You walk your way into Terran space and convince the best of the best that you are better, and then stole an experimental ship to prove it. You talk fast, but with the USC on your tail, can you fly faster? The Hunted Hero, difficulty formidable. After being ordered to attack a Boron convoy by a corrupt ATF commander, your decision to question your orders have turned you from hero to renegade. Now on the run, you must do what you can in order to clear your name. Formidable Freeboater As the captain of your own Carrick, you have become tired of the pirate's lack of direction. Will you now unite the factions and usher in a golden age of piracy, or cut your ties and build a new future entirely? Nostalgic Argon is one of the choices from last time that's also in the pool. OTAS Operative After years of conducting corporate sabotage against the Profit Guild, you finally decided to cut your ties, buy your ship, and go it alone. Will you blaze a trail across the stars, or do old habits die hard? Difficulty Moderate Paranid Prospector Difficulty Moderate Shamed after causing a diplomatic incident A chance contact with a chance contract with a Mining Corporation has given you the opportunity to start over and reclaim your honor. Is redemption your path, or will you far deeper into the void? Serotipus, Serotipus, Smuggler, Difficulty, No Picnic. After being double-crossed by the Duke and chased across the galaxy, you lose everything but your ship and barely escape with your life. Now that the dust has settled, it is time to get payback. Terran Tourist. Difficulty challenging. After crossing the Dark Space Corporation one too many times, you wake up. You awaken on a strange ship with a hole full of contraband. Can you turn misfortune into serendipity and turn the tables on your rivals? Xenon Rogue. Difficulty unknown. You are a rogue AI, a Xenon detached from the collective. You were never meant to have sentience. But fate has conspired to make it so. As unique as you are alone, you must face the greatest foe of all, free will. Yaki Insurgent. Difficulty quite hard. You know the way of the warrior. The Argon and the Paranid must pay for their crimes against your people. Yaki Ronin. Stranded in a hostile territory after a jump drive malfunction, you face a difficult decision. Use the opportunity for, to forge a new destiny free of your past or find your way back home and rejoin the Yaki Calls. And that is the choices. I plugged these into Excel and let it do a random choice between those two numbers. And it picked da, 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 Yaki Ronin. So we're going to be a pirate this episode or the organized crime version of the pirates. I'm going to start the game now. It's going to take this mod a fairly, at least a few minutes to get actually started on when you first run it. 
So I'm going to pause the recording and I'll be back once the game has loaded. Okay, we're here. And we got this overview of one of the mods that I have installed, one of the scripts. Welcome to STO, a software to take overtake sectors. Features taxes, raids of the former owners, trade docks consume wares, population by station of your select selection, I guess. Sector scan, interest rate of 1% per hour for cash and trade docks, tuning spiable, designate unknown sectors. So I'm starting out this game from the beginning, being able to overtake sectors, as well as I think the AI can do so as well, I'm not sure. This mod is installed. Okay, let's see what we have here. In terms of money, we have 28,000. Let's see about our ship. Info. Has 400 megajoules of shielding. Okay. A whole bunch of weaponry. Like four turrets and eight main guns. We have high energy plasma throwers in the front guns and like phase repeater guns. No, what do we have in those particle accelerator cannons? Okay, so this is a pretty heavily armed little ship, especially to start with. A Corvette class M6 and as far as freight we don't have it Ooh, we start out with cargo base shielding that is pretty awesome that's really hard to get normally and where are we there's a privateer trading post and a Pollux in a an Apollox I guess I don't know where we are. This sector does not exist in vanilla. Neither of these are familiar. So I guess I'm going to have to explore a little bit and see what happens for this episode and maybe the next episode. We're going to do a kind of accelerated Stark type thing. Going through all the stuff that we did in the last series as quickly as we can until we get back where we left off. Things are going to be a bit different. There's going to be probably some votes about certain things. Autopilot off. And I wish I could Split tell what arms. my Weapons ranked dealer. was. But anyway, I will be back once I've done a little bit more. Okay, I just Xenon jumped into the fighter. following Ow. sector, the next sector, and there are all kinds of bad guys everywhere. So let's see if we can kill a few. Maybe get some money from it? Don't know if we get bounties in this. Holy crap. Wow, those guys are strong. Hopefully I'm stronger. The family wrong car and that the works split too. dynasty are appreciative of your valuable assistance. You are being promoted. As you can see, the weapon effects are quite different. And the sounds are different too. I like that sound. That is very cool. This is actually fairly hard for this early in the game. Xenon Fighter L. What kind of weapon is that? I want one of those. Just for the noise. Look at the effects. Xenon Fighter L. See if I can get at least one of these. Xenon Fighter L. Maybe? So I don't get in the way of whatever it is he's shooting. Target is now in firing range. Okay, shoot that, shoot that. Wow, I cannot turn at all. 
I wonder if my ship is fully upgraded. Ah! Terrible turning. I need to get an M3. Badly. Maybe I can capture one somehow? You are being promoted. Wasp missile. Target okay. left fire split flight school mamba. You have gained school. recognition. I've gained recognition. Quantum tube fab alpha. Okay. I think I think that's all the fight for now. Well, that was a pretty action packed start. It looks like I spoke quite a bit too soon. There's Xenon a G. frigate. Xenon fighter. Xenon fighter. L. And a whole bunch of fighters Xenon and a corvette. PX. And I'm probably going to die here, but let's take them out, try them on, Xenon see what happens. Fighter. L. I wish I had Mars installed, but I haven't found an equipment dock yet. I wonder. Target is now. If my ship is as fast as it can be, I think it is. Yeah, this is as fast as I go. Okay. Maybe we can help out with that. Yeah, that would help. Come on, die. really like the new noises and the effects. Alert. Missile closing. I do not like people you shooting at me though. Recognition. Target is now in firing range. Where's that missile at? There. Okay, come on. Windstalker missile. Windstalker. I don't know how powerful that is. Oh crap. That guy's coming. EX. Whoa! Holy crap, they just I'm going to die. I'm so going to die. Windstalker missile. I guess that missile was pretty powerful. Given it killed me and everybody that was around me. Wow. Wow. This is interesting. I just flew into Argon space and I got this message as soon as I entered. To all allies of the Argon military, five hours ago an Argon convoy was attacked by the Yaki. The lead ship on Argon Colossus was boarded by Yaki mercenaries and the jump drive was activated. We are no longer aware of the ship's location or the status of its crew. If you have any information about the Colossus, its identification, its number, or its crew, Please contact an Argonne military official. That might be interesting. We'll have to remember that. I've been flying around, mostly just blowing stuff up. I captured a couple of ships and sold them, so now I have 2 million credits really quickly. And that's pretty much all I've done so far. Oh yeah, I've gotten a police license which cost a lot more in this mod but you also get a lot higher rewards John Furco escort bus 25000 for a heavy fighter kill compared to 1000 in vanilla that's been what I that is what I've been using to make my money lately and I'm going to continue flying around looking for stuff and trying to repair my relations it seems that I'm at, or I started at, just negative in all of the relations, so just below neutral. None of, nobody likes me, but nobody's kill on sight either. So that's good. It means it's easier for me to build back up 
and that's what I'm mainly working on right now and then we'll move on to some other stuff so I'll be back in a little bit longer I am back again I want to go over one of the features of this add-on this mod see these little dollar signs right next to these things it means they have a bounty on them so you can kill them and get whatever it is Let's see what he has he's wanted by the argon for insurgency destruction of property murder and bioterrorism and he's wanted for the boron for breach of queen's space criminal damage murder and bioterrorism so if i killed him i would get about two million or if i got the kill on him i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to it's a pretty powerful ship compared to mine but there are another a whole fleet there so if i can just steal the kill Q. i might be able to do that but he does have beam weapons and that's going to make things a little difficult and these guys aren't actually argon fighter eclipse oh okay he's shooting at something Xenon wow he's getting Q. close i need to get away very far away Come on, shoot him. Okay, there we go. Now they're firing on him. Ha. Ah. Target is now in firing range. We'll help them out a little bit. Not that we're going to do much to something that size. Those missiles will. Wow, he is no taking end. a ton of damage. I guess we did not get the kill. Wow, that's bright. Oh well. well that's one of the features that's fun in this. Nova. We might could use that as a primary method to making money. It's just hunt down people with bounties on them. Argon, escort, Cerberus. I'm going to continue making money and building up to where we left off. Okay, I've been working on the Terran rep and I've got a message here. Mizuki Sakaki, this is Admiral Chiano. Giorno of UCS High Command. We believe uh, we have been monitoring your war efforts for some time now and are very impressed with the tremendous abilities you have shown in defending the Terran border sectors. We are planning a highly classified mission which <clears throat> we believe your talents would be perfect for. If you are interested, report to the orbital defense station in the moon. So that might be interesting to try out at some point. For today's choice, we need to talk about how the war is implemented in this mod. I had to temporarily start a new game because we didn't get this message with the Yaki start. I will read this and then I will reload that save and continue that. But here is how the war is um, done in this. Pilot, it is a grave time for the Argon people. We have been accused of a deplorable act of terrorism and all our attempts at a diplomatic solution have failed. War is coming. We have reports of a massive Terran fleet of a massive Terran fleet massing in McCollum Relay and military buildup in Mars. That sentence needs edited. Our operation centers in Farpoint Relay and Argon Sector M148 are coordinating our defense. Argon Intelligence believes that the Terrans will attack our main shipbuilding facilities in Omicron, Omicron Lyrae and the supporting infrastructure in the surrounding systems. It is likely the attack will begin in Circle of Labor and move south into Om Omicron Lyrae itself. Your record as an Argon pilot speaks for itself. 
you have been issued with an Argonne Military Law Enforcement License. With this, you can connect to the Federal Argonne Military Intelligence Network and gain up-to-date reports on our fleet status. Current incursions by our enemy and where we are striking back. Simply assign a hotkey to your ship's control configuration to access the military network. If the Argonne way of life is to continue, we must repel this threat. We need every pilot to perform to the ability we know you are capable of. Aid us in the defense of Circle Labor, Circle of Labor. Help repel diversionary attacks in the surrounding systems. Protect our main operation bases in Farpoint Relay and Argonne Sector M148, or patrol our other borders against pirates, Xenon, and even the Paranet, in case they look on this as an opportunity to settle some old scores. If we can strike against the Terran base of Terran bases of operation in McCullum Relay and Mars, it may slow down or even stop their advance. But beware, these systems are heavily defended and you will need a substantial fleet to destroy one of these bases. Our fleet is spread thin so we cannot mount a large scale assault at this time. This is our most desperate hour. Good luck, pilot. I believe that's it. Yes. Okay. So let me load the save and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how it works. We have this screen here and we can ch check Command anyone's accepted. military network. And they'll give us these things. Location of the main Terran invasion fleet. Other enemy race activity. Current Argon military strikes. Current Terran incursions. So we can help out in any of those. But this is where it's different. In this, we need an actual fleet. We can't just fly around in a fighter and expect to win the war. We have to actually take over their sectors and take out heavily fortified systems. This also means that we can't just kind of sit on the fence and be friendly with both race races while helping out. We're going to have to actually be the enemy of one of the races. So we need to decide whose side we're going to be on. We can be on Terran side. Or we can be on the Argon side. Now, there, in the last game, we had to support the Terran economy because the Terran had better ships and all that stuff. That's not true in this. All the ships are pretty much balanced, and all races have their own specific weapon types that only they can use. So they're kind of compartmentalized in that sector. In that um, respect, we won't have access to the sh ships of the people we're at war with, obviously, but we will have access to everybody else's, and that should make up any difference. Boron are really the only people I wouldn't want to be at war with, because they have some unique things that other races do not. Though each race does have a few unique characteristics about its ships and such. So we might be losing a little something there. I'm not sure what Terrans have that's so special. Probably just really good missiles or something. But that's what we would have to do. We'd have to pick a side. So that's your choice. Do we want to be on the Terran side? Which means we're at war with the Argon. Or do we want to be at, on the Argon side? Which means we're at war with the Terran. In addition, some of the Argon... Stuff is going to be selling Boron Recon Gate certain as well. factories, I think, that I might need. I'll have to find that sector and see if they're still under Argon reputation or if they're now a different reputation. But if that's the case, we can always edit the script so that it's a neutral place. Or they may be in this game already somewhere yeah so let me reiterate Your choices are um, help the Argons in the war against the Terrans or help the Terrans in the war against the Argon and pretty much everybody else this is not something you need to decide anytime soon it's going to require quite a lot of build up for us to get there we're going to need a considerable fleet to be able to do this like 
a dozen or so capital ships or more. We are going to have to have all the stuff we were going to set up in the previous game complete pretty much all the factories and then expand those even farther to start producing missiles and ammo and all the stuff that we would need for that. But vote and let me know which one you want to do. I'm going to continue around here making money and getting us built up to back to where we left off. Right now I'm already up to militant which is just about where I was in the last game but my trade rank is very low. I've got licenses with three of the races so far so we only got three more to go and we haven't started any of those side quests yet but we're pretty close. I think I just need to build a factory for the player headquarters one and get enough money for that. But I think, yeah, that's it for now, and I'll be back shortly. Fire closing. Closing. Enduring light. No ex. Paranid Miloxenon. In the name of Ship Computer Control Transferred. All right. Incoming message. We got the bounty. We have our tech factory up and running. We have. Blue Wing here, helping out, defending the area, and we have our miners mining. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.